Hello beautiful people and welcome to Crazy Tank Adventures. Today we will have a chance to play and I will introduce you with current top of the tree. It is Mr. Badger. This tank is quite awesome. Best DPM in the game. Very good front armor. Speed is decent, especially with turbo. Uh, even it's, it, he is very precise and even camo is decent. So first I will tell you what I suggest to what kind of equipment to put on it on it. Uh, ideally it would be improved rammer, improved vents and improved turbo. but also, Depending on uh, your play style and maps, you can consider putting improved rotation, even aiming, improved hardening, modified con configuration, and even telescope. Regarding field modifications, for, for, for first option, I would recommend uh, this option here in forced suspension. For second option, I would suggest uh, minus three percent to aiming circle. This option here, increasing view range for sure. Here, minus three percent to reload time to the to extra boost his DPM and here mm, here is kind of tricky it is up to you both options can work maybe you can even leave it without any changes for second slot category uh, it depends uh, what do you plan to put. If you will put telescope, then choose scouting. If you will choose something for from survivability options, then choose survivability. Let me quickly show you it armor. As you can see, here are the states of um, tanks uh, arranged by uh, DPM and Badger is number one. Also, this entire line is uh, kind of very similar um, characteristics, very good frontal armor, low speed and very good DPM. So here you can see his frontal armor. It's unpenetratable for most of the shells. Lower plate is penetratable. Let's see with gold. With gold, it's kind of a bit penet more penetratable, especially if you put it in this angle. So try to use it in this angle, like this, whenever enemies are shooting at you. Of course, you need to cover lower plate. All this line is very similar. And uh, if you like this style, I would definitely recommend to grind it. And enough talking, let's teleport to first game. We are playing against Tire 9s. Ensk. From enemy team, we have Leopard, who is a very good player. And from our side, we have one good player in S Conqueror. <coughs> there are sh should not be any problems with tire nines unless they have uh, high penetration ammo and uh, they will shoot gold. This tank has really good high explosive rounds, penetration uh, 120 millimeters, so it's definitely very, very good option to use it. Oh, this was really unlucky shot. And it would be great if we had high penetration shells loaded. 
This guy don't understand who is he dealing with. He doesn't have any chance to penetrate us, and he's very easy target for us. Will someone else try to pass here? Let's go up a little bit closer and let's say hi to our enemies from much closer range. Will we have more luck from this position here? I don't even want to wait. I see many of our guys here, so let's try to come from this side here. <coughs> 60 TP is coming. Pick out. Let's say hi. And now you can see, now you will see what is real power of this tank. With this fast reload and damage, this poor guy is unable to re repair and he is down. Let's go to say hi to his friends. Hi type 4. He is one shotable, but let's do some damage to his friends who have more health. We are not afraid of them shooting at us. Oh, as soon as I said that, we lost uh, 700 damage. Bad shot by me. But we already, guys, we already have 5,000 damage. And let's finish him. Will we have chance to land another shot? This game was quick and sweet. Uh, I accidentally locked um, shot on the enemy. Sometimes I press mouse with my uh, right right finger, actually second finger from the right. No, actually middle finger, and I press uh, right mouse button and uh, it locks on the target. So let's see results. We got high caliber. First, of course, <laughs> first by the damage, first by the experience, two kills. We did not, well, it's enough. 30,000 plus uh, 30,000 from Holiday Ops, so this was 60,000 profit game. And uh, from enemy side, ah, they were not very successful. So let's teleport to second game. We are playing on Redshear from the enemy team. Health team yellow, health team red, three un four unknown. From our side, two greens, other yellows, and even orange, and one unknown. So let's start. With this ca tank you can snipe from the back camp or you can go forward, it, it is really up to you, up to your playstyle. And of course according to your playstyle you should equip equipped it. On this map I usually go here to F5.
I prefer to camp for most of the time but sometimes when it's the right time I decide to go forward especially if I have tank with really good armor no light tank light tanks which is very good I'm showing you three best games out of ten. I'm not showing you best games ever. Uh, and uh, actually, I, this tank was more than I expected. Usually tanks like this are not good for sniping, but uh, with Badger is like all-rounder. You can go in front, you can snipe, uh, whatever you want. Really very flexible tank. Can we hit guys who are crossing there? After this map was updated, mm, here on east side, line 9, it, there is really not a lot of opportunities to snipe, but uh, even now some enemies are trying to peek and see what is from the other side of the hill, so usually we have chance to hit someone. I'm waiting for somebody to um, be spotted on C4. Ah. This FV has very good armor. I really don't um, like this. Uh, taking into consideration this is Dead Star. Uh, I believe it should have a much worse armor. So you, if you want to be sure to penetrate that star, you need to shoot gold. I, in general, try to avoid shooting gold. I only use it when I'm um, trying to complete some special missions or ranked bat battles or things like that. My main goal is to Mm, save money, save gold whenever it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lucky shot. Unexpected. Really nice surprise. Can we hit Jack Pizda? Will he try to go over the hill? That star is coming. Let's say hi. Nice. Very good alpha damage, 500. And that star is dead by our RT. Goodbye, gentlemen. Will Progetto be spotted? At this time, I'm considering to go forward. I'm telling my guys, oh ho, I'm switching to high explosives, will we be able to hit him once more, blind shot, no, now we, we will hide behind this uh, house to avoid getting hit by him, this Progetto uh, hit us two times, one time it was bounced. I'm waiting to be unspotted to avoid FV. It seems he tried to hit us, but he missed. And let's say hi to Progetto. He 
here would, would be a good idea to load gold, but I didn't. I was hoping I will hit his side. Nice. Too bad we didn't finish him. Let's say hi to Centurion. Hi Centurion. And object 268 hit us and it's time to say goodbye. But at this point in the game it's not important, too bad we could finish Centurion. But 5000 damage is more than enough. Let's go to results. We have 450 spotting damage, assistance damage and almost 5000 damage. We are top by damage, second by experience, we made one kill. We actually did not profit, this is without holiday ops credits. And what I forgot to mention, that uh, this tank has gun depression of 10 degrees, which is quite good. Average penetration is 272 which is decent gold penetration is 320 and well actually it's 130 not 120 with high explosives so you definitely try to shoot uh, whenever you have opportunity let's teleport to third battle we are playing on lakeville from enemy team, no green players. From our team, we have even four green players, three unknown, and on enemy side, also three unknown. So remember, guys, unknown statistics uh, means really high chance that is very good player, especially if you see them in platoon. We are playing with tire aids. This should be like walk in the park. We have two lights on each side and our chances for victories are 67. Usually on start of this map I go here on J8. But sometimes I go a little bit more forward if we have very good lights. Actually, here I sh it would be best I went even on this game. <coughs> Can we say hi to 278? 268, sorry. Here it's very good idea to blind shot and guys don't be afraid to blind shot especially if there is high chance enemies will be on this place. You can blind shot here and also mm, here on the left side of this house or actually even a bit more on the left. Can we hit char less 75? Whenever guys you see explosion, it's definitely you did not hit. But if you don't see anything, you definitely hit something. And if tank is outside your... Um, drawing distance and if you hit him or bounce it not penetrate him 
then you will hear sound because if enemy is spotted by our team so even if you don't see it game will act like you see it but you will only hear or uh, sound like we were not able to penetrate it or you will see damage counted but if that tank is not spotted you will not see anything nor hear every anything can we try to blind shot face ricochet see we heard ricochet and we cannot see the tank but he is spotted Let the blind shot here, no, not successful. Let's go a bit more closer so we can spot them and uh, so at least we know what to shoot at. It's enough of blind shooting. West, west side is holding okay, so it's not perfect, but they should hold a little bit. Maybe even I made a misplay here. Uh, yeah, I needed to help our guys on west side. We are, we lost it. But I was so focused on these four or five guys here that I did not watch map. And watching map is one of the most important things. Remember that, guys. And I was also full of myself how they will not be able to penetrate me and I wanted to kill them all. Our guys from east side are returning to base. Again, we are spotted. One light tank is still alive, so it's, there is a big chance he will on classical bush here. Let's try to blind fire him. Yeah, it seems this was hit. We did not see explosion. This was not hit. He probably moved a little bit on the right side. No, let's see. Left side. Mm, this could also be a hit. The game is not looking good. We are losing 4 to 7. This guy is dead. shot And we are dead Z. I didn't expect 
scorpions will move more on the east side and um, this was big mistake by me and now there is really high chance we will lose and especially when I died I was um, let's say very important to this team one of the best tanks we have good players who, which stay alive but we are losing 7 to 11, so it's not good. Let's teleport to results. Unfortunately, we lost. We have 200 assistant damage, 1200 blocked and damage 3.3 thousand. We were second by the damage. Mm, in the middle by experience we lost 30,000 so actually this was not good game that's all folks for today if you like this video uh, please press the thumb up and subscribe subscribe if you think this video is terrible press the thumb down please write me in the comments do you like badger how do you equip it and uh, do like uh, his playstyle and uh, see you guys tomorrow.